Hey guys, so today I have a book haul to share of a ton of books I got from Amazon and then got one from Target and one from the Book Depository. So yeah, I have a ton of books to share, but first, let me share something a little more special. I finally got a Kindle. Oh my god. I am so freaking excited. I got this yesterday. I went to Best Buy and I got this for like $120 and this is the Kindle Paperwhite. And oh my god, I'm so excited. I wanted the candle for such a long time now. And I'm excited I got it. So this is what it looks like. So all these books I already had on like my iPad. So I just have them here in like the cloud feature. I don't know. So I don't have them on the actual device. But since I got it yesterday, I actually bought a book. I bought Paper Towns by John Green. And I really wanted to read this book for a very long time. So I was really excited when I saw that it was like on a special deal for like $4 or something like that. So... Yeah, I got it and I'm really excited to read it. And right now I'm reading Clay Me by Jay Kenner. So I'm on chapter 5 now, 19% into the book. So yeah, I'm really excited. I really love reading on this. I only started yesterday, but it's really fun so far. I really, really like this. And yeah, definitely worth it. If you're thinking of getting a Kindle, just do it because it's really awesome. So I'm going to start with the book that I already read. And this is The Goddess Inheritance by... You may Carter. So this is the last book in the Goddess Test trilogy. If you didn't know, I'm in the US right now and I read this on the plane on the way over here. It was a really good book. It wasn't as good as the first two books sadly, but it still was a good book and it was a good ending to the trilogy and I'm actually completely so super sad that the trilogy is done. But I'm going to get the short stories book. Like they have a book it's like a bunch of short stories about each god, so I think I'm just gonna get that. Because I don't know, I just love this trilogy and I'm so sad that it's done. So yeah, that was a really good book. I give it like a 4 out of 5 stars. Next is a book I'm currently reading and it's Fragile Eternity by Melissa Marr. So this is the third book in the um, Wicked Lovely series. And I'm um, almost at the end, I'm like right here. I have like maybe... 70 pages left, something like that, I don't know. So, so far it's okay, it's good, it's not the best, but it's taken me a lot longer than I thought it would to finish this. I've been reading this for like a week now or something, I don't know. It's just, it's not as captivating as the other two books, um, but I'll finish it soon and then I'll probably write a review about it on my blog, so just check that out, the link below my blog, so just make sure to check that if you want to know a little bit more about this. And also, I got this from Amazon for like 680 I think on like a special deal and it's like the hardcover and everything so that was pretty cool oh that reminded me the hardcover is so pretty look at this the back is completely like this peachy bronze color and then there's like a picture that matches the outside picture I don't know I really like that I thought that was really unique because the rest of the hardcovers are like just a solid color so I don't know I thought that was pretty Next is a sequel to a book I really liked, and this is Vanish by Sophie, Sophie Jordan. And it's a sequel to Firelight, which I really liked. It was a really good book. It's about people that can transform into dragons, and it's really interesting. So this is the sequel. Really excited to read it. And yeah, if you haven't read the first book yet, you should definitely check it out because it was really good. Next is another book I got on a really good deal. This was $4.00 on Amazon so yeah that was really nice and this is LA Candy by Lauren Conrad I don't know what to say about this because I haven't read it I don't know anything about it I just know it's contemporary and it's by Lauren Conrad so I mean I thought I'll give it a shot and it looks pretty so I just figured four dollars so why not next is a book I'm super excited about and it's Starcrossed by Josephine Angelini and this is a book about Greek mythology. That's basically all I know about this book, which is kind of sad. But yeah, I love Greek mythology. I really liked the Goddess Test trilogy, like I said before. And I just decided to give this one a shot. And again, this was like $7 or something like that. And it's a, like, a really pretty hardcover and it's huge and stuff. So it was a really good deal. And I really wanted to read it for a long time. So I just decided to go for it. And look how beautiful this cover is. It's like 
holographic. I don't know, I love it. And also, the inside is really, really pretty. Next is a book that I actually already own, and that's kind of sad, but I had to get it. It's Entwined by Heather Dixon, and holy shit, this cover is so pretty. Look at it. Just look at it. Oh my god, I'm in love with this book. It's so pretty. I actually haven't even read it yet, even though I own an ebook of it, like... For a year now or something but I just don't really like reading ebooks on my iPad that's why I got the Kindle but um, yeah so I started it a while ago but I never really finished it because I just didn't really like reading on my iPad so I decided to buy it as a hardcover because it was on a very good deal on Amazon and it's gorgeous and I really wanted to own it like to be completely honest I only got it because it's freaking gorgeous but the story itself does sound interesting. It's um, a retelling of 12 princesses, which I've never heard about, but um, the premise sounds really good. Um, the couple of chapters I read were really good. So yeah, I'm excited to dive into this next. This book I got solely because of booktubers and book bloggers and everybody that just keeps raving about this book. This is Just One Day by Gail Foreman, and I heard so many people talk about this like non-stop and I actually have no idea what this talks about except for like a love story between a boy and a girl and blah 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 I, I don't know a lot about this but I heard so many good things about it that I just decided to pick it up and it was 20% off in Target so that was pretty good it wasn't the best deal to be completely honest it was like still $14 or something like that but I don't know, I just heard so many good things about this that I decided to give it a shot. Next book, I actually won in a contest on Goodreads and it's The Storyteller by Jodie Pickold. And I have no idea what this talks about, to be completely honest. I just know that she's a good author. Like, I don't know, I have no idea what this talks about, but looks interesting, I guess. But this book is freaking humongous, okay? Look at it compared to like a regular size. It's so big and it's a hardcover and it's like sort of heavy. It's not that heavy, but it's still heavier than like a normal book. I don't know, it's just so big. I'm excited to read it. It was nice to get like an advanced copy of it, even though it was waiting for me in the US here at my brother's house for so long that it's already out, so <laughs> I don't know. But it was still exciting to get this and yeah, I'm excited to read it. So that was basically it for my book haul. If you want me to review any of these on my book or on my YouTube channel, then just let me know in the comments. And yeah, I'm excited for my Kindle. If you have any recommendations for like really good ebooks, then let me know. And yeah, that's basically everything. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!